Live on sportsbookreview.com. Bowl season now, Saturday. The first bowl game, the New Mexico Bowl. Texas San Antonio against the Lobos. New Mexico 7, 63 the total. One of the best coaches in the country, and no one talks about it, Bob Davey. Few coaches get more out of what they have to work with than Davey. Back-to-back winning seasons and bowl bids. He took over a dumpster fire in a program that won one game three years in a row. And running that option and the big plays. It's not like Army and Navy where they're trying to grind out first downs. It's let hit home, let's hit some home runs. 16 offensive touchdowns on plays of 40 yards or more this season after 14 last year. Well, yeah, I mean, look, I don't know if there's been a team in NCAA history, and I didn't go back and look this up, but I'm not convinced that there yeah, has been one. Two different running backs for New Mexico go over 1,000 yards for the season at better than 8 yards per carry. Gibson and Owens. That's hard to do, and that speaks volumes about what Bob Davey has been looking to do with the Lobos. You made a great point, Paulie. This isn't Army. This isn't Navy. This isn't Air Force. This isn't designed to grind out first downs and keep the opponent off the field. This is designed. This is an offense designed to hit home runs. They have a two-headed quarterback. You know, Lamar Jordan, he's a better runner. Uh, he's averaging six and a half yards per carry. Austin Apodaca, he's a better thrower. Uh, not like he can't run out of the backfield, too. He's averaging 5.8 yards per carry. Lots of big plays and big play TDs for the New Mexico offense, which is not something we usually think of out of a quote-unquote option attack. Frank Wilson got the kids to play hard in the first season. No real blowout. 63-31 loss against Tech. Louisiana Tech that got away late, and uh, they hung on tough at Colorado State and A&M. They were in those games, and they don't have playmakers, but they don't beat themselves. The quarterback, Sturm, only threw for 2,000 yards, 58% completion percentage, but 18 touchdowns and only five interceptions. Extra time to prepare for the option, though, Teddy. Yeah, and in general, the option attacks don't work as well during bowl season. But I also want to talk about the, the bowl version concepts because you're going to see two different arguments about teams that haven't been to bowl games before. This is their first try, or even with a head coach and a group of players who haven't been uh, to a bowl game, even if the team's been to a bowl, whatever. Uh, but in the last five years, they haven't. You have bowl virgins. And particularly for programs that don't go bowling every year, that haven't been involved in this experience, there's a lot of logistics to deal with in a very short amount of time. You have to figure out your opponent. You have to figure out how to get there. You have to figure out how to get everybody else there. It's not an easy process when you haven't gone through it before. I, and the market say, well, they're excited to be there. In general, I'd rather be betting against these type of squads than betting on them. Texas San Antonio in that position for this poll. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.